I'm Peter Chan at the National Weather Service for Alaska Statewide Weather. And on this Sunday, October 3rd, it begins Alaska Winter Preparedness Week. That runs October 3rd through the 9th. It's kind of a no-brainer. We got slammed with some winter weather a good few weeks early in many parts of the state. And we continue to see uh, this evening uh, winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories remain in effect for portions of the east central part of the state along the Alcan border into the uh, eastern central Alaska range until 7 p.m. this Sunday evening, as much as 6 to 12 inches of snow has already fallen in those areas, and perhaps an inch or less of an additional snowfall is anticipated as we go through the evening hours. Otherwise, the next uh, weather system of significance is a low pressure that will be working its way uh, across the western bearing just east of the Russian coast. It's the remnants of Typhoon Mendel, and uh, this system will bring some wind and rain and snow to the western uh, coast that will eventually be spreading into the interior, spreading inland as we go through Tuesday and into Wednesday. And there is a potential for some elevated surf along especially the south and west uh, facing coastlines, uh, the Seward Peninsula down through the YK deltas. Uh, but we are not at this time expecting any significant coastal flooding. And uh, other than that, uh, we certainly have had our share of cooler weather and it looks like the overall uh, cooler temperatures are going to prevail. There is a weak little ridge of high pressure uh, that's going to work its way uh, through uh, south central areas uh, Monday afternoon and continue to just kind of get pinched off. The low that was over the Gulf is still just kind of sitting uh, south of Haida Gwaii and will gradually continue to fill and weaken. Quite a storm though struck uh, the panhandle uh, Friday afternoon into Saturday with hurricane force wind gusts, rainfall amounts of two to four inches. So it was a pretty healthy early season system. But otherwise, uh, look for rather active weather to continue throughout the western uh, portion of the state as we head through Mon later Monday and especially Tuesday and Wednesday as the precipitation spreads inland. It will uh, transition to some snow and some pretty good snows could fall, especially starting Monday night, but into Tuesday and Wednesday uh, throughout the western and central Brooks Range, at least four to six inches of snow could fall through there while some coastal areas receive well over an inch to nearly two inches of rain. For Alaska State Weather, I'm Peter Chan.